Survivors of domestic violence are some of the most courageous people I've ever met. SPAN has been in the community for almost 37 years and our goal is to end domestic violence and violence against adults, youth and children through support, shelter, advocacy and community organizing. The domestic violence, it really cuts through every layer of the social status. When you think about domestic violence, um, you know, it really, it, the incredible range we are talking about, our idea of domestic violence is this person with, with bruises or injured that you could see. It is only a small part of that. Our core programs are um, really intended to, to address the immediate needs of survivors. So we have a 24-hour uh, crisis line where we respond to close to 9,000 crisis calls each year. An emergency shelter where we provide about 9,200 shelter nights to almost 400 adults and kiddos. Services that are intended to um, provide early intervention and support. Letting them know that they get to make the decisions and just empowering them with information and support and resources. I think the, the self-determination factor is really important so people know that they're going to be making the decisions. We're never going to tell them what they should or shouldn't do. We're just going to come to the table and provide them assistance, support, advocacy. We believe that relationship is critical for a person to feel stronger and resilient. Therefore, while we are together uh, assessing their sense of safety, we are creating trusting relationship. And the BBB is a place, I think, where we are connected with other for-profit and non-profit businesses that have that same um, value around ethics and integrity. It has definitely um, enriched our work and I think uh, made us a better organization. The mythology around Boulder is that it's this idyllic place and unfortunately Boulder County in particular has a higher level of domestic violence, higher rate of domestic violence than the state or national average. Really a community issue and it's really a national issue and it, it just manifests in the home in a way that makes it sometimes so isolating. I think when the community comes together, it's when you really see big effects taking place and big changes being made.